Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today let's solve the lead code contest question, minimum operations to reduce x to zero. The question statement, so we are given an integer array nums and an integer x. And in every operation, we are able to remove the leftmost or rightmost, the first or last element from the array nums, and then subtract its value from the integer x. And notice that this operation will modify the array as well. And we have to return the minimum number of operations to reduce x to exactly zero. And if it is not possible, then we will return a negative one. In example one, the optimal solution is to remove the last two elements, to remove the rightmost elements twice to reduce x to zero. And example two, it's not possible to remove either leftmost or rightmost element to reduce x to zero. And in example three, we can remove the first two elements and the last three elements. So five operations in total. And their sum will be 10. So we can reduce uh, x to zero. The data constraint for this question, the size of the array can go up to 10 to the power of five. So we have to find a solution which has uh, time complexity between big O of n to big O of n squared. And here is a key constraint of this question that every element in nums array will be positive. The key intuition to solve this question, the algorithm, since every step we're able to remove the leftmost or rightmost element in the array, so it's actually finding the longest subarray with sum equal to the sum of the nums array minus x. And since every element in the nums array is positive, we are able to use uh, two pointers or sliding window to find such subarray. Now let's look at the code. Okay, the first part of the code set up a target variable, which is the summation of nums minus x, and n is the size of the nums array. And next we can do some uh, pruning here. So if target is smaller than zero, and since every element in nums array is positive, it means that it's not possible to fulfill the requirement. So we will just return a negative one here. And if target is equal to zero, then it means that the summation of the nums array is exactly x. So we will just return the size of nums, which is n. And now it's to set up the left pointer uh, the current sum and n target, which is the size of the target uh, subarray, and initializes to uh, negative one. And next is the two pointers uh, algorithm. Use a for loop and then update the sliding window on the go. And what we need to return at the end is n minus n target, because n target is the size of the target subarray. And the number of elements we have to remove is actually n minus n target. And if n target is equal to negative one, then it means that it's not possible to reduce x to zero with these operations. So we will return a negative one in that case. Now let's see the code in action. Okay, here we'll be looking at uh, example three. So the target variable is the sum of nums, which is 30, minus x, which is 10, so it's 20. And initially, the left and right pointer, we are both pointing to the first element in the array. And n target is uh, equal to negative one. Now move the right pointer to the first element. Now current sum will become uh, three plus two, which is five, and then move the right pointer again. So now current sum is 25, which is bigger than 20. Now we will start to move the left pointer. And when the left pointer is moved to index two, 
the current sum will become 20, which is equal to target. It means that we have found a subray that its sum is equal to target. So we will update uh, n target, which is n minus left plus 1. And in this case, the size of the subray is 1. And after the calculation, we will move left and right pointer to the next element. So now current sum is equal to 1. That pointer is 3. And end target is equal to 1. And we keep moving the right pointer all the way to the end. We didn't find another subray whose uh, sum is equal to target. So at the end, we found a size of the largest subray whose sum is equal to target. It means that we have to remove the first two and last three elements in order to reduce x to, to 0. So we have to return uh, 6 minus 1, which is 5, uh, which is the answer for this example. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So this solution is to transform this question to find the longest subray with sum equal to the summation of nums uh, minus x. And because every element in the nums array is positive, so we are able to use two pointers or sliding windows to solve it. And time complexity is linear because we only need to do through the array once. And space complexity is bigger of one. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.